there's one question for which you certainly need to know the answer even before you start your GMAT preparation. And what's that question? What is the competitive GMAT score that will get me an admit into the school of my choice? Not an easy question to answer, but there's a pointer and the pointer is available on the website of the business school. Go and check out the class profile. They'll let you know what is the median GMAT score of the batch that recently joined them. That number should give you an idea and target a value which is at least 20 points above that. You are likely to find not just one number, you are likely to find two numbers. Because we have two versions of the GMAT, the older classic version and that score is still valid. So you are going to find a number something the equivalent of 730 and you are likely to find another number for the new version which is the focus edition of the GMAT and you might find a number something like 665 or 675. If both numbers are available, focus on the focus edition because that's the exam that you are going to be taking. If the only number that they have provided, they provide one number and the only number they have provided is the newer version, all is good, no sweat at all there. But what if some schools throw a spanner in the wheel, they basically give you the GMAT score, median score of the older version, let's say they provide you with a number saying that 730. The equivalent in focus edition is not a 725 or a 735. GMAT comes to help at this place. They have provided an official concordance table. Look up the table. The equivalent for 730 of the old edition would be a 675 or 685 in the new edition. Target 20 points above that. Something like a 705 will keep you competitive for this particular school.